Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. I hope you enjoyed the little break that we took and watched the bonus videos we created during that time. I believe it helps to take time out to reflect on the Word of God so we can come back refreshed and ready to hear more of what he has to say. Here we are with opening the second book which is claimed was written by Moses. The book of Exodus. As we journey through this book we will discover why a mother had to give up her son how an orphan became a prince, now a prince became a freedom fighter. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 1 now these are the names of the sons of Israel who came into Egypt. Every man and his household came with Jacob. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishakar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Natali, Gad and Asher. All the souls who came out of Jacob's body were seventy souls. And Joseph was in Egypt already. Joseph died, as did all his brothers and all that generation. The children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly and multiplied and grew exceedingly mighty and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt who didn't know Joseph. He said to his people, Look, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come, let us deal wisely with them. Unless they multiply, now happens that any war breaks out. They also join themselves to our enemies and fight against us and escape out of the land. Therefore they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens. They built storage cities for Pharaoh to his own and Ramesses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. And the more they spread out, they were grieved because of the children of Israel. The Egyptians ruthlessly made the children of Israel serve, and they made their lives bitter with hard service, mortar and in brick, and in all kinds of service in the field, all their service in which they ruthlessly made them serve. The king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of whom the name one was Sipha, and the name of the other, Puha, and he said, When you perform the duty of a midwife to the Hebrew women, and see them on the birth stool. If it is a son, then you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, then she shall live. But midwives feared God, and then do what the king of Egypt commanded them. But saved the baby boys and kept them alive. The king of Egypt called for the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing? And I've saved the boys and kept them alive. The midwife said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women aren't like the Egyptian women, for they are vigorous, and give birth before the midwife comes to them. God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied, and grew very mighty. Because the midwives feared God, he gave them families. Pharaoh commanded all his people, saying, You shall cast every son who is born into the river, and every daughter you shall let live. 